Hi friends, Amanda here from Fun Hands-On Learning. And today I am going to show you my son's math binder that I've created. It's an interactive learning binder. If you have a child that is preschool, kindergarten, or special needs, then this binder might be for you. And my last video that I did was the interactive literacy binder. And if you didn't check that video out, I'll be sure to leave a link in the description box to that video so you can check out that one. But for today, we're going to talk about the math binder. And I also have a third binder from years ago that I created that's just kind of like an overview of skills. And it has literacy and math and a couple other things. Um, so if you're interested in all three of these binders... I'm going to leave a link in the description box where you can get each one separately or you can get them all in a bundle. Um, so be sure to check out the description box when this video is over. And also, if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Amanda. I'm a homeschool mom. I'm a former elementary school teacher. I have eight sons and we have been homeschooling now for, I want to say this is going to be our 12th year or 13th year I I, I have lost track y'all <laughs> so all right well let's go ahead and get right into this um, this is what I've created for um, actually four of my kiddos so right now I'm sitting on the opposite side of where I normally sit in our u-shaped table when I'm with my four little kids and I'm going to do probably a new tour of our homeschool room because I've changed a lot of things um, since I've done a tour. So once I get everything kind of ready for the new school year, it's the summer right now, so I'm just working on a lot of things. Once I get everything kind of ready, I'll give a new tour. But basically, I'm sitting here and I've been keeping the binders uh, up here on this top um, shelf, I guess, of this cart. And so that is where this binder will sit. And this is an example of one of the covers for the interactive math binder. There's a boy cover and then there's a picture of a girl and there's a girl cover. So she's really cute too so if you have um, girls or if you're a teacher and you need you know both boys and girls. There's one of those. And then you can edit this and put your child, type your child's name in there. So that's really cool too. All right, so let's go ahead and open this and see where we are with this. First thing I did is I put a pencil pouch in here to keep all of the pieces. So there is an interactive calendar, and you can see you can um, change the months. All right, and I put all of those in here so that we can just pull them out and change them. I'm using Velcro, Velcro dots to hold everything in place. And I made different names of the for the days of the week for the calendar um, for each of the four seasons. So right now I have the summer ones on here because it's July. But there are, as you can see, there are spring, winter, and fall pieces as well. So we can change these days of the week for each of the seasons. So for June, July, and August, I'll use these, and then um, in September, we'll change to the fall pieces and so on. So there's that, and then of course, I have all the numbers here that you can change, and the kids can change out their calendar. You can just have them put like, you don't have to have them put the whole thing like I have here. You could just have them do up to the day, and then every single day, put the next number on their calendar, which is kind of fun too. So there's that. And then um, you, on the next page, you're going to see that we have days of the week, seasons, and weather. So let's go there. So here is, today is, and they can change out what the day is. The season is summer. That's what we're in right now. And then the weather. And they can change out the weather every day. And I have the Velcro there for them to change that. Then we go into our 100 chart. Now there's a 100 chart that goes to 100, and there's also, I'm gonna show you over here, um, one that goes to 120 if you want that instead of the one to 100. For right now, for this child, I'm just gonna use this chart 
Um, but in some of my other kids' binders, I put the 120 chart. Then it goes into numbers, where the kids can match up their numbers. Okay, just like that. Now, something I thought would also be fun is you could take all of the you know, pieces off, have them match them up. So, okay, here's one. This one has four and so on. And after they've matched them up, I just love using these pom-poms. These are pom-poms that I have attached magnets to. I just usually use my hot glue gun and I hot glue gun them and they will that way they'll stay in place. Or you can use them also on um, anything magnetic like a cookie sheet or something. But um, it also is nice just so that they sit flat. And then the kids can use them to count one, two, three, and they can put them over, you know, the pieces. One, two, and so on, right? So I figured that would be kind of fun for this as well, make it even more interactive. So there's those pages, and that goes to 20. And I think that that's good because seeing the T numbers written out with the word is a good visual for um, my kids as well. So I like that. So those go to 20. Then they're tracing. And I included my um, tracing songs with these pages. If you haven't seen uh, this before, I have little songs to teach the kids how to trace their numbers. So like, for example, five is go around, Put on a hat, you make a five just like that. Down, around, put on a hat, you make a five just like that. Or how about seven? Seven is across the sky and down from heaven. That's the way to make a seven. Okay, so I added in the songs so that you guys have those as the kids are tracing. I guess they're not really songs, they're just rhymes, poems. Okay, then there's a clock. Now, I do include clock pieces if you want them. And then you can use like a brad and you can attach the pieces. But I don't want them because I'm going to just have my kids use dry erase markers. And what we're going to do is um, when we go to do this, I'm going to either give them a time or I'm just going to say, well, let's... The time right now is, let's say the time right now is 3.30. So I would have them draw a small hand for the hour and a big hand for the minutes, okay? And then they're going to write 3.30, okay? And you can verbally give them different times. You could write out a couple of times on a card or something, cards or something like that, and have them um, draw it. Or, like I said, you could actually do whatever the time currently really is and have them do it that way. So there's that. Then we have money. And for the money, where they go. So this is a dime. This is a penny, 10 cents is a dime, and so on, okay? So there's that page. Then we have um, our basic 2D shapes, and I have the words here, and they just basically match up the words. So there's those pages. Then tracing our shapes, just like we did the tracing of the numbers. They can go ahead and use their dry erase and they can trace their shapes. And then I have another one of these pencil cases because I have an addition page. So for this page, they use these dominoes. I'm sorry, not dominoes, these are dice. And they take two pieces of these and I just happened to grab three and three. And then they're going to use their dry erase marker again. And they're going to write the equation. Three plus three equals six. All right. Or we can change it. And let's do different number. What do I get? What do I get? I got four. So 
we can change that. We can do four plus three is seven. Okay, so they can practice their addition. And then that's it. So then we go straight into his literacy binder activities. Um, and if you haven't seen that video, check that one out. I'll leave a link below to it. But yeah, you can kind of see some of those. So that's it. That is the interactive math binder. I hope you enjoyed this video. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe so you can see upcoming videos. And I hope you'll be with me. All right, we'll see you in the next video. And as always, happy learning.